Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, then welcome. My name is Christina and on my channel, we talk all things beauty from my own experiences. So before you go, make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video and leave any comments that you have for me down below. So Makeup by Mario came out with brand new blushes. I'm so excited to try these on, swatch them for you guys and talk a little bit about the formulation. These are called the Makeup by Mario Soft Pop Plumping blush veils. We're going to be talking about the specs. I'm going to try these on for you, swatch them, all the good things, and talk about the formulation. So if that's something that you're interested in, and then let's get started. The shades I picked up are Rose Crush, Just Peachy, and Perfect Pink. I'm wearing the shade Perfect Pink on my cheeks today. I actually went out to a friend's dinner and I've had it on for, let's see, what time is it? For about five, six hours now. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about my experience with them and I'm also going to put these other two shades on my cheeks as well so we can kind of see what that looks like. But first, let's talk about the specs of these. So these are $30 each. They come in six shades and it says that they're a weightless cream blush balm made with hyaluronic acid to hydrate and plump skin with a sheer veil of color. When I first saw that they were coming out with these blushes, I immediately thought, oh my goodness, this is the blush counterpart of the skin enhancers. I have this one. It is so dirty. I use this all the time. This is definitely a holy grail product for me. This is a soft sculpt transforming skin enhancer in the shade medium. It's an all over skin balm to warm and soften the skin. Soften? No, maybe just warm up the skin and bronze it. I absolutely love this. I have a full video talking about this one as well as the powder that came out with it at around the the same time so I will link that for you guys if you're interested but overall just know this is my absolute favorite cream bronzer that I own it is lightweight it is super pigmented so easy to blend and it layers very very seamlessly with everything my excitement for these blushes were just the same I have high hopes for these especially the colors and the textures and everything like that honestly I put it on earlier and I didn't really pay attention too much to the texture I wasn't really trying to analyze it too much I was kind of in a rush so I just popped on all my makeup and then I was like I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do a video about it later. It says that you can use these blush veils over the skin enhancer, or you can use it on top of setting powder or on top of the blush sticks. I was thinking about this the other day and I didn't realize how big of a fan I am of Makeup by Mario. I have loved pretty much every single one of the complexion products. My least favorite is going to be the powder skin enhancer just because I don't really use it very often, but I absolutely love this the cream skin enhancer. I love the contour stick. I love the blushes, the plumping lip colors, the lip liners, the <laughs> eyeliners. Everything has been amazing. So what I'm expecting from these are kind of like a blush from within, pinched cheeks, very natural type of blush. They're not going to give you, say, I don't know, rare beauty liquid blushes where it's full-on pigmentation right off the bat or like the Juvia's Place liquid blushes or uh, Juvia's Place powder blushes. Those are definitely going to be high pigmentation right away type of thing. To me, these are definitely going to be a buildable product, something that you can layer, something you can wear very sheer, or something you can layer on top with like a powder or something like that. Um, I feel like there are a lot of possibilities with this. So like I mentioned, I'm wearing the shade Perfect Pink on my cheeks right now, and I put this on around, I want to say 4.30, and it's about 10 o'clock right now. So I've had this on for quite a long time. And when I did my makeup today, I did my foundation concealer. I used the Persona Multi-Stick in the shade Sahara for my bronzer today. And then I popped this right on top. I built it up. And after that, I powdered the face, I did all of my setting, and then I popped this right on top of the powder. Went on seamlessly, very smooth. I think that this shade actually is very complimentary for my skin tone. Pinks always scare me. They don't necessarily look very natural. And for a formulation that is meant to be natural on the skin, I was kind of hoping it would work, wasn't entirely sure, but I do think it works. What do you guys think? I'm gonna pop a little bit more on. I have this ColourPop brush and it just has this shade on there and these I think are very creamy. Now the texture of this blush is going to be a little bit more stiff than the skin enhancer. 
I don't know if it's because this is a new pan or because the formulation is a little bit different, but I do think this deposits color a little less intensely, which again is expected based on the description. I like that I can build this up. It doesn't have to be full intensity right away. This is a very pretty color and I can see myself wearing this all throughout the year. I think it'll look great whenever my skin does get a bit more tan because of the summer and you know getting more sun or it'll look very nice and soft and subtle on my skin when I am more pale during the winter time. So here is the shade Perfect Pink. I really like this one and formulation wise I think it is wonderful. When you touch it it definitely does feel very balmy it's very slick in the pan and the more you kind of put your finger on it the more it melts down so here is that shade right there and let me do a little swatch on the back of my hand there is the shade perfect pink I'm going to kind of blend it out a little bit very pretty and you can see it definitely has a little bit of shine to it these are going to be very standard cream in the sense that they look a little bit wet and dewy on the skin but this i don't think has a very large oil content to it in the sense that it doesn't make my face feel or look greasy so i'm actually going to touch my skin enhancer ew my pan is so dirty to be honest the textures upon first touch definitely feel very very similar i think the color payoff on the bomb is gonna be a little stronger actually i don't know based on these swatches they seem pretty even i don't know <laughs> i just know that i like the formulation <laughs> now what i'm gonna do is take off this blush reapply my foundation on my cheeks and then we're going to try these two shades so let me go do that real quick okay i am back blushes off foundations back on i just put like a light layer you can probably see where my bronzer stops, I left my forehead. I figured that instead of putting on that same Persona bronzer, we would go in with a skin enhancer just to see how these work together. I'm sure it's going to be pretty much flawless because I'm sure they're formulated to work well or perfectly together. So I'm just gonna take this Makeup by Mario. I think this is the F4 brush, I'm not quite sure, but it's the dual-ended paw brush here. And I'm just going to take the smaller side and apply my skin enhancer. Every Everywhere that I would normally bronze popping it on and I'm gonna do it on both sides of the face so we can see look look how perfect this color is the way that it blends so easily this product I'm telling you guys is so foolproof I feel like everyone needs this in their kit it can easily be used on top of foundation or you can use it on a bare face it bronzes so well, so easily, like very much a beginner friendly type of bronzer. But also if you're a pro makeup artist, I'm sure that you love this as well. I've seen only good things about this product. All right, there you go. Just a little bit of warmth added to the cheeks. And now let's go in with these blushes. I'm gonna do one on either side. So let's swatch just peachy they feel so silky and smooth just really melts right in when you touch it this one definitely seems more like a sheer shade i don't know if you guys can see that let me build up the swatch a little bit so you guys can see it better there you go and then let's swatch rose crush right next to that one this i feel like would work really well for every skin tone i actually feel like all of these would work really well with every skin tone but this specifically i feel like is such a universal shade all right there is rose crush and there is just peachy look how uneven <laughs> these swatches are so i have this bk beauty brush this is the 107 i'm gonna use it with just peachy and then i also have this it cosmetics brush this is the airbrush foundation brush and this one is going to be a little bit more domed but it still has that pinched in effect that this one as well as the color pop brush does first let's go in with the shade just peachy on this side so i'm just going to load this up on my brush i feel like i could be pretty generous with this so there you go sometimes i'll tap cream blushes on the back of my hand the excess you know or maybe on a paper towel just to get a little bit of the product off so it's a little bit more diffused but i feel pretty confident about this amount hopefully <laughs> so i'm just going to apply this here oh pretty i love a good peach shade i feel like peaches 
and corals are my favorite blush types. I feel like it livens up my skin, really brightens it up without it being too bold. I love this formulation. I think that it definitely is the perfect name when it says it gives you a veil of color. It most definitely gives you that wash of color. You can still see your skin peeking through. If you were to just wear this, you know, without any foundation, you would obviously still see your natural skin texture. And if you have any discoloration, you probably see that as well because you can see like my freckling and stuff here. I don't know if it's picking up my foundation. It might be picking up a little bit right here where my freckles are. Let's go in with Rose Crush on the right side of the face. And I'm just tapping probably the same amount and going in here. Oh, I like that shade. <laughs> I was a little afraid that this was going to be too dark for me, but actually it's quite bright. Oh yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, here's the shade Rose Crush on the right side of my face. And then here is Just Peachy. Just Peachy on camera is kind of pulling a little bit more pink, but I definitely see those peach tones on my face. And I want to add a little bit more skin enhancer on the bottom half of that blush where it meets the bronzer just to have them blend into each other a little bit more seamlessly right here we go what do we think so in terms of formulation it is very very similar to the skin enhancers the the bronzers you know i don't know if these seem a little bit more pigmented i would say the skin enhancer is just maybe a hair more pigmented i don't know if that's just in my head or not these definitely have really good pigmentation but they are going to be that super thin veil of product of cream you know it almost feels a little slick like an oil but it stays like a cream blush they're very interesting if you have used the skin enhancers then i would say that you have a good idea of what it already looks like oh my gosh i just realized i took my my rings off earlier and i didn't put them back on i feel naked now <laughs> the colors beautiful i feel like this is such a gorgeous like wash of color such an easy everyday type of blush you know something you can just throw onto the face let's go ahead and powder the face down actually i want to see if you can still see the color well and then also apply the cream blushes on top of powder i already did that earlier but i want to confirm that it actually does go on very evenly i'm gonna use my huda beauty baking powder just gonna tap that in so you can definitely still see the color obviously it's a little bit more muted i find that that happens more often than not whenever i set my face obviously because you are adding a layer of powder and this one is not transparent or translucent this is the banana bread shade so it is a little bit more of that yellow undertone i definitely feel like you would have to layer this product if you do powder your face so let's go ahead and do that and see what it looks like so going in with rose crush right on top of that powder yeah it's not picking up any powder whatsoever it still looks like i'm just putting it onto liquid foundation going in with just peachy on the left side i'm kind of stamping these on and then buffing it out i'm not swiping whatsoever i don't do that under powder but i especially don't do that on top of powders because that's probably the easiest way to get rid of you know the makeup underneath all right here is what that looks like on top of powder i don't know if it's just me but i feel like it looks even softer and smoother layered on top of powder. I'm sure that is the case though, because with setting powders, obviously, they typically will blur the skin. So just putting a veil of color on top of that really hasn't taken away that finish. I pretty much use cream blushes and bronzers in my makeup routine every single time I do my makeup. I am so happy that they came out with blush counterparts to the bronzing skin enhancers. Now, as far as the shades go, I do really like all of the shades I picked up. I think because it is going to be that sheer wash or veil of color, they're definitely a lot more wearable than if these were full on pigment. Like if this was the shade that went onto the skin right off the bat i can already tell you guys that would have been just too much for me 
but I love how it's just a wash of color that you can build on top of. I think if I were to rank the shades, I would go Rose Crush first. Surprisingly, I think I like Perfect Pink second and then just Peachy last. I like all of them, but if I were to like gravitate towards one shade over the other, I think that's how I would rank it, which is very interesting because typically peach shades are my go-tos, but there's something about the finish and the color and the undertones of these that I'm really, really enjoying on my skin right now. I was expecting to like them, I'm not gonna lie, so none of this is coming to a surprise for me. <laughs> For me, personally, I love it. I would definitely invest in Makeup by Mario complexion products or just Makeup by Mario in general. Really anyone I feel like could benefit from these products. I love that they're versatile. You can wear them alone. You can layer them with a powder. You can layer it on top of setting powder or on top of liquid foundation or cream bronzers, you know? This will pretty much work in all steps of your makeup routine. So I feel like it's really a no fuss type of blush. If you're not a big fan of cream blushes for some reason, like maybe you don't find that they stay very well on the skin, um, this might be a good option because you can layer it, you know? So I find working in layers really helps with the longevity of my makeup. So if you were to do foundation, then cream blush and then powder and then cream blush layering it like that may help the product lasts longer on the skin or if you want to layer it with a matching powder blush that works too you know there's so many options with something like this so overall i really like this blush formulation i'm so excited about them i love all the shades that i picked up i don't think that you can go wrong with any of the shades to be honest and i'm excited to continue to use these and implement them within my makeup routine. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope the swatches were helpful. If you did enjoy it or you found it helpful, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.